What's up guys, Spin Firearms here. Now there is forever a debate when it comes to firearms about the best trigger, and especially on the Micro 9s because they're so popular. And none of these have aftermarket triggers, none of these have anything done to them. These are all stock internals completely. Now, what you might find interesting in this video is that someone who was very huge in the creation of the P365 left SIG and went over to Taurus and then the Taurus GX4 came out a year, year and a half, two years later. So these two have a history together, that's for sure. And I think it shows in the trigger. Now I'm going to let you guys decide what your favorite trigger is out of these three and I'm going to tell you what my favorite trigger is. They're all great firearms, you can't go wrong with any of them. But when it comes to the Taurus GX4, it is what it is. It, it, there is going to be a little I'm going to be a little more hesitant to carry the GX4 than any of these other firearms. These are all basically proven at this point. My P365 needs some more rounds first before it's 100%, but I know this will be, end up being a great firearm. But I just thought it'd be funny to, or fun to compare these two triggers right here especially and then compare the rest. So here's the Taurus GX4. It's a great trigger, I'm not going to lie. A great, great trigger. Like very, it's actually like very similar to the SIG in a way. It looks different. I honestly think it's a great defensive trigger. Now here's the SIG. What I mean by similar is the way they feel when they're pulled. Not the way they look obviously, not the shape of the trigger, and even the this is more audible and tactile. Now a lot of people argue that the SIG P365 has the best stock trigger, but is that true? Smith & Wesson CSX. We'll do that one more time. Ready, guys? Reset. Reset. The CSX has an amazing trigger. Shield Plus trigger. I feel like the Shield Plus looks a little deceiving, but then when you feel it, you realize how light and crisp this thing is, and then you realize, wow, I don't hear a lot of people talk about how great this firearm is. Now the Hellcat. People always say this, this trigger's too heavy, blah, 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 too long. Let's check it out. Obviously, it is longer than the rest. About the same length of reset, pretty similar to the rest, a little heavier than them, but a great defensive trigger. If you want to know my honest opinion about the best trigger out of these five firearms, it's going to the Smith & Wessons. They have up, up their game when it comes to the trigger. The Shield Plus has an amazing trigger. These two are very different with the kind of triggers they have, but honestly, these two are the best. Then after that, it, it's hard for me because I do like the Hellcat trigger. I like the little extra weight, but if it really comes down to it, you're going to be faster with the SIG. You're even going to be faster with the GX4 than a Hellcat. But I do like the Hellcat trigger, so I can't say that I like the Hellcat last. But you got to give credit where credit's due, and the SIG does have a really nice trigger. So is the GX4. So that's just my breakdown. And what's great about firearms is we can all disagree about them. The way it feels in my hand is going to be completely different from your hand. We can have the same hand size, finger length, all that. But the way it feels to you might make you feel more comfortable with the GX4. And the way it feels to me might make me feel more comfortable with the Hellcat. It's all based off what we like and what we, you know, what feels good to us. So I can't tell you that the SIG trigger is the worst trigger. You know, I, I can't tell you that unless that's actually how I feel. I can only speak for me. If you guys believe the SIG is the best trigger out of all these, that's how you feel. I, I can't change it. But to be honest, I've shot all these and I put a lot of rounds through my Hellcat and a lot of rounds through my CSX and I'm getting there with the Shield Plus. And Taurus actually surprisingly has a good amount of rounds through it. And so I, I do have experience with these triggers, but once again, it's what feels good to me. So let me know in the comments your favorite. You know, it, that's the best part about the firearm communities. We all feel strong about stuff, and it allows us to have discussion and hopefully not get too out of control. But to be honest, we're all in this together. If it really comes down to it, we're all in this for firearms, protecting our rights, protecting our families, and that's why we do it. So I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching.